What's up, world? It's your man, Dominic D. Hargrove, Slight Edge Performance Program. Quick video for you. This video is called The Art of Becoming in the Journey of Believing. One thing to know. And so I like to mix things in the title so you can do your own research, come up with your own conclusion. But I'm just speaking from inspiration, conversation with my brother. We were talking about becoming. We were talking about believing. We were talking about attracting. And it reminded me, I was telling my brother, it reminded me of someone I call one of my virtual mentors, Jim Rohn. You might, you can look him up on YouTube. Great personal development coach, mentor, speaker, entrepreneur, spoke on business, spoke on business skills, leadership skills. Jim Rohn, look him up, great person to learn from. I, I see him as a virtual mentor. And in one of his talks, he said, uh, you don't get what you want. And keep in mind, he spoke a lot about getting what you want. Jim Rohn spoke a lot about the law of attraction. He, he spoke a lot about uh, attracting your desire into form and shape in your tangible physical reality, making your vision and your dream real and one thing he said was you don't get what you want in life you become the person who attracts what you want now when I say what you want keep in mind we have the opportunity the responsibility and the power to be conscious intentional and aware about what it is we say we want I'd like to give understanding about the conscious mind, the subconscious mind. I like to promote students and, you know, my background is being an athlete, playing college football, training professional athletes, being a professional trainer. So I like to use sports as a platform to talk about awareness, to talk about uh, enlightenment, to talk about uh, the the brain mind sciences to talk about what the subconscious mind and the conscious mind and the super conscious mind all oh, what is this whole talk about the science of our brain and we see it just in the way we perform in the way the elite athletes do amazing things in the way the neurochemistry and the brain synapses of our performances we see the amazing things we do, and it's more than sports. We can do more than uh, dunk basketballs and run touchdowns. There's so much more when it comes to our brain and our mind, the brain and mind sciences, consciousness. So that's the message that I get, and I put in my, my videos to serve student athletes. My background is being a student athlete, being a student athlete, to serve professional athletes, my background is serving professional athletes. I like the water. The water always reminds me of the subconscious mind. And so Jim Rohn said, you don't get what you want. You become the person who attracts it. So it's the art of becoming in the journey of believing because believing is a journey. It's an adventure. It's a quest. Believing. And uh, all through a spiritual text and the Bible, it talks about believing if you believe with your heart one uh mark eleven twenty four. 24 uh one of my favorite bible scriptures it says whatsoever things you desire when you pray believe you already receive them and you should have them whatsoever things you desire when you pray mark uh 24 11 look it up for yourself google it Whatsoever things you desire when you pray, when you meditate, when you make your request known to God, believe you already received those things and you shall have them. Mark 11, 24, check it out for yourself. I got a good friend, his name is Mark. And uh, we actually practiced and we became more and more aware of our imagination, the faculty of our imagination through sports, the art of becoming. What do I mean by becoming? You have something coming to you 
based off what you are imagining. You have something coming towards you based off what you are intentionally projecting. As a man thinketh, so is he. Uh, as you think with your heart, your, your, your heart, your heart, your heart, mind, soul complex, as you think, as you imagine, so will you become. This is basic technology. Listen to the testimonies and the stories of people who've achieved greatness in life. They, something sparked in their imagination. Something awoke in them in their dream. Their ability to dream, their ability to envision themselves. Something, they started to tell themselves something. They started to speak something to themselves, whether it was ver verbally, whether it was an inward conversation, or whether they were speaking through their action. And so, by projecting through your thoughts, words, actions, and what you write down, thinking in a vibe, thinking, think vibration, think energy, think resonance, think frequency, right? If you want to get a certain radio station, you tune it to a certain frequency. So, think frequency and actually uh, think putting some. Uh, information into the GPS and not only are you going towards it it's coming towards you so be come be it now speak from the place of your assumed already accomplished desire imagine from the place of the feeling of what it would feel like if your goal was already achieved and your vision and your goals transform over time your vision and your goal and that energy that your vision and your imagination and your God-given spirit and soul power, the energy that it generates is it molds with your subconscious. It molds with your reality. Don't want to get too deep or too, uh, uh, you know, I do want to get deep just like the ocean. And this video is for, like I said, my background is being an athlete. So I understand when it came to even college and work, school work, college work, a lot of, you know, a lot of student athletes didn't get their education. A lot of student athletes, you know, went through the motions just to play the sport. And so Slide Edge Performance Program serves as a tool, so it serves as a resource to help point you to other resources that I know are dependable and can help you. Like Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn said, you don't get what you want. You, be, you become the person in the process of thinking the right thoughts, taking the right actions, speaking the right words. In that process, you become the person. The art of becoming, which is the law of attraction, the law of higher dimension. And then the journey of believing, the adventure, the journey you go on when you believe something, the journey you go on when you say something is true and you believe it, you go on the journey. Check out Mark 11:24. whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe you already received them and you shall have them. I hope this video helps. Comment, share, I love to get your feedback. Email me at IamTheSlideEdge at gmail.com. Information is down here. Ask me about my food technology phytonutrient program, all right? Peace.